You see you, baby. The UCU's mission is water conservation, and the way we do that is through irrigation assessments or evaluations. We provide homeowners, managers, and contractors with recommendations on how to make their systems more efficient. These recommendations will always include the installation of some type of control device that prevents unnecessary irrigation. The simplest of those devices is the rain sensor, but there are other devices that are much more sophisticated. The soil moisture sensor is one of those type of control devices we recommend. There are various different brands out there, but they all have a sensor much like this one that goes buried into the landscape. The way that this system works is that it has a sensor in the ground constantly reading moisture, and when it reaches a certain reading, it prevents irrigation from occurring. For example, if it's been raining all week long, the soil moisture reading is going to be up high and it's going to prevent irrigation. Uh, and it's going to stay that way until the moisture gets dry enough and irrigation is useful again. Okay, so the UCU is at a property that recently installed an ET controller, also known as a smart controller. Um, and basically how these systems work is that they use weather information, temperature, rainfall, um, to estimate how much water plants need and they schedule the irrigation. They can schedule both how often to irrigate and how much water to apply. Um, there are two basic types of ET controllers, or main types, signal-based and on-site. Um, signal-based receives a signal from the company containing the weather data, while on-site systems use their own weather sensor, which you can see above us. The reason why the weather-based controllers are efficient is because not only do they use weather information, and rain information from your particular area, but also specifics about the zone, like what type of sprinkler your water you're irrigating with, and also what kind of landscape you have, what type of plant, and also the shade factor. And it takes all that information and it actually gives you and calculates a runtime for you. For instance, this area that I'm standing in, this is a shrub area, low water use. Um, the system is going to know that it's that particular plant and it's not going to water the same way that it would if you program it on a grass zone. So for the reasons I just mentioned, it's even more critical with a system like this one to separate your zone based on plant type.